Hospitality is the core of Afghan culture. When you go to any Afghan home, you are the king. The guest is the king. You make the rules. Omar, a former U.S. military recruiter from Afghanistan, moved to the U.S. 20 years ago. He decided to open up Houston's first Afghani restaurant in 2012, bringing the flavors of the Middle East right to Texas. We have the community here in this area. We have India, Pakistan, Iran, Persia, Tajikistan, Uzbekistan, Kyrgyzstan. They started coming in and they like the food. Afghan cuisine is very famous. You grew up cooking? No. No? I'm a lawyer. You're a lawyer. I went to Afghanistan with the U.S. military. Oh. We were not allowed to eat from, from the outside. We were eating food in the dining facility. A lot of frozen food would come, and every once in a while, we would just give money to some locals, and they would bring food from the outside. No matter what race, they love the food. I said, if they love it, why not open one over here? And since day one, I never seen a bad day. This is goat karahi. Karahi is the pot. Any meat that you put inside, you cook it inside a karahi, they call it karahi. If it is chicken, it's chicken karahi. This is serrano pepper, salt. This is uh, cilantro seeds. This is our cumin seeds. It's gonna be delicious. All of this cuisine is all new to me, and I, I see halal. What is halal? Uh, halal is a uh, certain way that we slaughter animals in our faith, in Islam. It is similar to kosher in Judaism. It's basically we slaughter animals for the blood to flow the right way and do not hurt animals too much. That's the main thing. And uh, we say prayer. After that, it becomes halal. So these are uh, marinated kebabs. Saffron is very oh, important in Afghan that's cuisine. That's the color of it. And there we have go. the best saffron in the world. Hello. Hi, I'm Sheldon. Nice to meet you. This is my father. Proud of your son? Very good, very good, very good. Very much. This is called sailor rice. Cumin seeds and the lamb broth that we put in there. So we basically pour this in. The kabuli rice. We add a little bit of carrots, a little bit of raisins. This is going to add sweetness to the rice. Exactly. Mainly the steam cooks it. It has to slow cook. What is the Ramadan? Well, it's a fasting month, and I'm sure um, a lot of religions uh, have fasting month. Ours, ours is the toughest one. <laughs> We're not allowed to drink water from um, sun uh, rise to sun down. Uh, we are not allowed to eat or drink. It's an exercise. It basically teaches us to care for poor. If you don't have food, this is how you feel. So what do you think about the guy who's sitting across the street from you with no food? So you just care for them and you give them. Do you get plumped up before then? Yeah, do we have eat? to eat a little more. <laughs> <laughs> what we do is basically with our fingers, try to smoothen it up. We make holes in it for the bread not to just pop. We pick it up like this. Put a little water to it so it sticks. And it just sticks right on top right. like that. Okay, I'm gonna try myself one. And then I take it from here. Save your, your arms, okay? If, if you hit yeah. this place, this I'm gonna is get like a help. scar for life. Yes. All right. Go up. Oh. Good job. Good job. You did it. Oh, oh, oh. And that's why I cook Filipino food. We leave the cooking up to the professionals over here. Yeah, please. Okay, let's eat. Is there a word that we say? before we eat? Yeah, we say in okay. the name of God. In the name of God. Yes. We prepared rice, it's called kabuli rice, and on top of it is kebab. A famous uh, expression from the neighbors that Afghans will eat uh, meat three times a, a day. Breakfast, <laughs> lunch, and dinner, and that's true. The next one is the goat karai. This is very typical of the eastern portions of the country. And this is uh, burani banjan, it's eggplant with homemade yogurt, and that's our kabuli pulao. 
It's lamb shank with the rice, and this is our national dish. We are geographically located in the middle of Pakistan, which used to be India, and Persia. If you ate Persian food, not a lot of spices or anything like that. But if you go to India, it's another extreme. They have spices, your hand will smell curry for three days, <laughs> yeah. even if you wash it three times. <laughs> <laughs> so we're in the middle, a little bit from both sides. In recent times, immigration has been a huge topic, mm -hmm. and it has affected a lot of people around them. Just a way of life. My community is very peaceful. Whatever we see on Fox is different. And I studied Quran very well. And it's nothing but peace. I'm sure in Bible is the same way. You can interpret the same thing different ways. People are manipulating, misusing some of the verses. God says, Lakum dinukum walidin. You have your own way of life and I have my own way. This is the exact verse of, of Quran. But no, ISIS nowadays, they would just bring people and make them convert. No, but the Quran says, let them have their own way of life. In the time of Muhammad, peace be upon him, one of his neighbor was Jews, the other one Christian, and he was in the middle. How come he lived with these two guys and I cannot live with, with these people? You turn on any channel, you go to the Middle East, you will see negative stuff about the West. You come to West, and you will see negative stuff about the East. That's the manipulation in the religion, and it's just political, yeah. I think. Everyone that we've met is all about the giving back to their community, and you guys are living right next to each other. The next exit, it's right into Chinatown. The next exit is right into Little Nigeria, yes. and you guys are all living here together in Houston. That's true. <laughs> Houston, I won't trade it for any city in the U.S. Sorry, New Yorkers. <laughs> um, I was um, a recruiter for the military and I, I traveled all across the U.S. I've seen probably over 40 states and no matter where I go, this place, you know, attracts me. Yeah, this, this is your yeah, home. This is my home. I consider this your home. If you are in the area and sometimes you wanted to come, feel, feel comfortable. Come here, stop by and uh, pay a visit and be my guest, he said. Thank you so much. How are you Shakur, saying? Manana. Manana. Manana dira mirabani, manana dira. Shalo si khosbata wasi. Lettuce, tomatoes, avocado, grilled onions, cilantro, jalapenos, and a line to it. That's the famous gordita.